and hello hello and finally we have dr mark wright who is one of the people in this room we know least about we've we've met for the first time today it's a randomization um but of course uh, comes with an extremely high recommendation, and so we're very keen to hear, uh, no pressure, <laughs> um, this yet, yet other kind of perspective into what we're doing and whether it might be seen as a lab at all. Um, so Mark, uh, would you mind yeah, taking the mic? Hi everyone, if uh, you don't know me, uh, I'm Mark Wright, I hold a joint position between the Liverpool School of Art and Design, where I'm a lecturer in fine art. Uh, but I'm also embedded into FAC, the Foundation of Art and Creative Technology, which is a leading media arts organisation in Liverpool. And what we've been trying to do over the last two years is, is explore the concept of the lab within the context of um, an arts organisation. So what is the perfect lab? Well, it, it seems like a first and impossible question because it's the diversity uh, and complexity of, of what a lab can be and what it can do, um, what it's for, uh, its models, how it sustains itself, etc., just immense. I thought that there are some things that, that are interesting, and one of the words trickster came up, and that suggests a, a, an element of art um, history called tactical media uh, that particularly came out of Holland in the 80s. And that had some of the, um, some of the uh, context that we talk about. So, for example, it, it talked about process, not product. It talked about the performative. It talked about platforms and networks, not artifacts. It talked about distributed authorship and collaboration. What it did not talk about was the audience, and it did not talk about the um, um, democratization of the, the creative process. What we can also use it for is as research in a form of in inquiry. Um, the other thing that was nice was this, uh, the concept of games. So do we need a, a Sorry, a specific cultural form in order to do this. Film or games or, or something else. Do we need that shared cultural heritage in order to understand each other? Um, and what's the purpose and goal? Is it engagement? Pedagogy was another word. We believe in an active learning, not just facts or skills, but literacy and agency of an inactive citizen taking on the digital commons for themselves, and not just experiences. Who is the learner? It's not just the people that you engage with, it is you as well. And what, one of the most interesting things today in moving things was the risk that we all took today with our intimacy. And we must be open as much as the participants, we must respect their risk but we must be open to risk ourselves and use that risk to, and be prepared to change the process um, in the face of what we learn. Prototype is the final thing. Prototype is an embodiment. It is a physical precipitation, a distillation of the design and creative process, but one that can be revisited and activated through, through remediation with people and to be reflected on. And that is what is so exciting about this lab as a form of inquiry. We can use it to both use the analytic tradition of um, reflection, but also the phenomenological tradition of action um, and embodied creativity. What makes the perfect lab? It's a lab that is aware of its own context and has the tools to understand what that context is and what its methodologies are um, and how to um, embody them uh, and develop them for the future. Thank you.